We're going to discuss today what you should use if you run out of toilet paper, what to do if you have a baby who needs diapers and you run out, and also what about that time of the month? Yes, we are going to talk about this in today's video. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer, and I believe that being chic is being prepared. This has been a motto of mine for a long time. And as the world faces the coronavirus pandemic right now, people are panic buying. And as it stands in the town that I live in, you cannot find toilet paper anywhere. So I know that this is kind of a strange video for my channel. <laughs> this is not the typical thing that I talk about here, but I felt compelled to come on here and share some alternatives with you because this is a very relevant topic that is affecting everybody right now. A lot of people are hoarding and stocking up on supplies and not leaving enough for other people. So I wanna share with you many different alternatives in today's video. Yes, I am going to be talking about toilet paper. I am going to be talking about baby diapers and reusable cloth diapers. I'm also going to be talking about uh, your menstrual cycle. So if that's the type of subject that offends you, don't watch the video. Uh, but yes, I am going to talk about all of these things because these are very real things that all women have to deal with. And um, so I think that it's important and my purpose with this video is to give you information that you can use, maybe alternatives, things that you didn't think of, so that you can be prepared if you happen to run out of supplies. Okay, let's jump right in. So this, this right here, this is very valuable right now. Who knew? Um, I don't know why, but toilet paper was pretty much the first thing that people started to stockpile when they started to panic about the coronavirus pandemic. So a lot of stores are out of toilet paper. Now, I like to buy in bulk, so we have a lot of toilet paper in our house. However, I've had the talk with my children, and I'm sure most of you have too, that we need to ration it and that we're not going to be using a ton of it uh, every time we go to the bathroom. So I told them two or three squares at the most, yes. I got that specific. So um, this is something that we just have to think about now because we don't know how long the stores are going to be out of it. So what happens if you run out, you don't have a supply right now and they don't have it at the stores? What are some alternatives? All right, I have a little list here so I don't forget anything. So alternatives to toilet paper. Let's talk about the obvious ones right now. So obviously you could use tissues. So tissues will work as well. And I believe you can flush tissues, but let me know down below if there's any plumbers in the audience, if that is not the case. If you have tissues, you can start to use those if you run out of toilet paper. Another obvious one is paper towels. And so these are thicker. I do not believe that you can flush these. They might clog up your system. So you would have to find a different way to dispose of them and you could tear them. Those are obvious ones. Now let's talk about if it gets really bad and you don't have any of those, okay? I use Instacart and so with Instacart, they don't use reusable bags. So I do have a few of these paper bags. If you have paper bags, if you have newspapers, if you have magazines, that type of thing. Not ideal. I completely understand this is not ideal, but we're talking about if you are in a panic situation, okay? Now let's talk about something that many Americans might not have thought of, and the Europeans are going to be laughing at us about now, but let's talk about the bidet. So most European households have a bidet, and a bidet is, uh, it's like a toilet, or it's an attachment to the toilet, where uh, the water will shoot up on you and clean you off, and then you can wipe or dry yourself, okay? Now, if you have a bidet, then you can use that and life is easier. Many of us in America, most of us do not have a bidet, but they do sell bidet attachments. I'm gonna leave everything that I'm talking about linked down below. As I'm talking to you, I have, I have actually ordered this attachment that goes on a water bottle. And it's, it's like if you've ever given birth, do you know how after you've given birth, they give you the little, um, the squirt bottle and you are supposed to clean yourself off with water. And this is just a hygienic thing that pregnant ladies or ladies who have given birth have to use. So you could also use that. You don't need to actually attach a bidet to your toilet, but you could use something like that. This will help to wash yourself off and then you could dry yourself with an old rag. So that is something that you can use. Of course, you can cut up old rags, old towels. Um, if you do this, you will need to have a receptacle in your bathroom that you could put them in and you will have to wash these things off, okay? 
So that is where we are headed if there is no toilet paper available. Now let's talk about diapers because um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about with toilet paper is that you could use a cloth diaper insert as well. And these are, um, these are my cloth diaper inserts. And so you could also do something like this. If you have makeup remover cloths, I also have those as well. You could use those as well. So you could use these and have something that you can put them into. If you are using non-flushable paper, you will have to have some way of disposing that in a, in a hygienic way. Uh, those are pretty obvious. Okay, let's talk about diapers because a lot of people are stockpiling on diapers and diapers are now out as well. So cloth diapers are the alternative and many people use cloth diapers anyway because it saves you a lot of money and it's better for the environment in the long run if you're not constantly using so much paper. So I have many examples of cloth diapers. I use them for my baby as well. Two different types here. I will leave my favorites linked down below. Um, but this is what a cloth diaper looks like. You can see all of the snaps here that allow the diaper to be adjustable. So you can really adjust this all the way from newborn to um, I think two years old, I believe. And so I, this is a cute one with uh, different colors. So how most of the cloth diapers work is that they have a little hole right here and then you insert the cloth diaper insert and for most of these, they, they come together as a set. And then so you put it inside the cloth diaper and there you go. So you, that's what the baby wears. It's very comfortable on them. It, it feels nice. Now, when you are ready to change their diaper, you need to wash, you know, use a baby wipe. If you've run out of baby wipes, then you can use a wet rag um, or wash their bum off in the sink or whatever. Um, if it's just urine on the cloth diaper, you can just put it, and these are very important, into a wet bag. So put it into a wet bag and seal it up. If there is a poo in the diaper, you obviously put the poo down the toilet and try to get as much as you can off the diaper, then you can put it into this. And I would wash them every single day. So you'll collect a few of them and then you could do a load and wash the diapers off. Take the inserts out when you wash them and there you go. There are other ones that come all together. I'm going to leave many options for you linked down below, but I think it's a good idea to have these anyway because if you ever run out of diapers, you could just keep washing them and you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to panic, okay? All right, so ladies, now I'm going to talk to you about uh, that time of the month. And this is a very sensitive topic. And if this grosses you out, please stop watching the video right now. But this is important information. And I actually wish that I had learned this long before I did. So I'm doing this and I hope that I help you, help any of you uh, with this information that time of the month can be very, very tricky. So I'm gonna show you uh, what I already have in place and ideas for you in case the stores run out of supplies or in case you run out of supplies and you can't get to the store. So there are three uh, things here that I wanna talk to you about. The first one being the menstrual cup. So the general items that ladies use when it's that time of the month are um, sanitary pads or tampons. If you are out of those items, um, you might consider an alternative. So I actually use this alternative anyway because I find it to be better for the environment and it just works better for me. But it's the menstrual cup. Something that you insert, you can watch lots of videos on this on YouTube. So I won't go into it here, but a menstrual cup. I'm going to leave my favorites down below. There's so many benefits to actually using a menstrual cup as well and it's reusable. It will last a very long time. So it's okay if you run out of supplies, you don't need to panic. Now, where is the wash? Here we go. So um, it's very important that you wash and take care of them properly. So there are many companies that also provide a hypoallergenic wash that will um, clean the menstrual cup and also sanitize it so that it's good for you to use. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about is cloth pads because it's good to also wear a pad when you are on that time of the month and these are examples of cloth pads these have charcoal in them what you do is that you uh, 
hook them up to your underwear and they stay there. There's a little snap closure here. So this is a really good way to um, not only save the environment, but save on resources. And this helps if you run out of supplies, you have them here. Now you are going to need, if you use cloth pads, again, you're going to need a wet bag. Wet bags are important. So when you finish with them, you can put them in here and then wash them at the end of the day, okay? Or you could put them in a bucket if you want with water. That's the other thing. The final thing I wanna to talk to you about is period panties, period underwear. I'm not gonna show you mine because that would be weird, but I'll put a little picture here from Amazon <laughs> of the kind that I like to buy. And these have protection in them so that if you leak, that it will take it up. It's like wearing a pad as well inside your underwear. And this is another sustainable, reusable way to take care of that time of the month. So there's a lot of information in this video, and yes, these are very sensitive topics, but I think that they're very relevant topics. I believe that being chic is being prepared. I know we're not trying to be chic right now. The world's in a pandemic, but that's my catchphrase to help cheer you up and to let you know that it's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Let's just not panic and let's be sensible about what we use and also consider our neighbor. So people are stockpiling things. I don't know if they really need to be doing this right now. I, I see images of people with bags and bags or uh, things of toilet paper and they're not allowing anybody else to have it. So that's the world we live in, ladies. I encourage you to keep calm and remain classy. And please leave your concerns, your comments, and everything down below. If you have any other alternative ideas, please leave those down below as well. And thank you for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.